I was dating a girl way out of my league attractive. Real, oh, so she was so good looking that like when the two of us would go jogging together, it kind of just looked like I was chasing her. Hey everybody, these are the comics that are gonna bring you your favorite viral videos, sitcoms, and movies. But before all of that, they're bringing their best jokes to laughs. Welcome to Laughs. I'm your host, Taylor Tomlinson, and we have the biggest comedy stars of tomorrow right here today. Yeah, you get to see the future. Let's light this candle. I went to college. Well, that's what my mom told everybody while I was locked up. <laughs> she told everybody I had a full scholarship to Penn. and my major was criminal justice. <laughs> this is a whole lie I gotta keep up with now. I'm home now, running into people who really went to college, asking me questions I can't answer. W what fraternity was you in? Oh, I was in uh, Alpha Kappa Convict. <laughs> Mess around and tell the lie to the wrong person though. Like uh, I had some black fraternity member friends, you know, they like to, to battle dance on you. You know, it's intimidating. You know, they'll bust out in a hoo, hoo. Hoo. Turn around, eight more of them come out the wall. Hoo. <laughs> I was intimidated. I had to make up my own battle dance. I was like, uh, Alpha Kappa Convict. Hoo. Hoo. Don't want to scare y'all though. That was I'm, I'm a grown man now. I've grown up, devoted my life to my Lord and Savior, Parole Officer Johnson. <laughs> Praise the board. <laughs> but serial killers, that's a real thing. It is. I mean, women's number one fear of online dating is dating a serial killer. Like when I get ready to go out and I'd have to think, okay, if I go missing, like the news is gonna report on what I was last seen wearing. <laughs> you know, what if it's like tonight and I went with overalls? <laughs> Just like, uh, Vegas PD is looking for a 29 brunette woman dressed like a cabbage patch doll. <laughs> her overalls say I'm 14, but her personality says that's when she lost her virginity. Yeah, I don't know why they're so mean. It's probably Fox News or something. <laughs> single, yeah, and I only really have one single friend left. My friend Juliana, but she's a very pretty girl. I feel like those Anna names are always really pretty, you know, like Tatiana, Leilana, Ariana. Like, they're always the type of girl who, like, break up a band. <laughs> or get, like, punched in the face by an NFL player. <laughs> you know the type. Get always super positive, you know, like posting those inspirational quotes, like the Marilyn Monroe ones. Like, then you can't handle my worst. You don't deserve me at my best. <laughs> it's like, um, I think you mean sorry I'm a skeleton wrapped in crazy. <laughs> Juliana, she's a, she's a slut. <laughs> and her last name is Santa Cruz, you know, like the community college which is fitting, because she'll let like almost anyone inside, but no one wants to finish there. <laughs> All right, now a while back, I asked you guys to tweet a picture of your favorite comic from the night's show, and use the hashtag LaughsTV, and a bunch of you did, and it was super cool, but it got really messy and caused a lot of fights between comics. So, let's do that again. Tweet us a picture of your favorite comic from tonight's show, and use the hashtag LaughsTV. It's gonna get messy. Growing up, I never felt my family had enough street cred because dad was a doctor, but not a cool street doctor like Dre. <laughs> my father is a veterinarian, and it's hard to relate to the chronic when your dad saves kittens for a living, you know what I mean? Uh, grew up in the suburbs, and uh, when dad would get mad, he would say, Marcus, if you don't get your act together, you'll never leave this house. And I would have to remind him, dad, I like our house. <laughs> we got land. Grew up in the suburbs, uh, grew up around an exhausting amount of Caucasians, and uh, <laughs> you guys can be a lot, you know. Uh, uh, 
went to high school of 620 kids, 620, and of that, only five of us were black. And my senior year of high school, I got suspended for smoking weed in the bathroom during lunch uh, with the only four of the black kids in the whole school. Like, it was, <laughs> We did nothing to help these kids not grow up believing in stereotypes. Uh, uh, just suspended, not expelled. Thankfully, basketball season was coming up, you know, like, <laughs> yeah. Uh, somebody's got a score, you know? <laughs> got in so much trouble growing up, dad had to think of new ways to punish me. Like one time, he took the door off my room, just took it off, unhinged the whole thing for seven months. Uh, <laughs> Do you know how terrifying it is to masturbate with no room door? <laughs> in fear like God intended. <laughs> and I had to, or else they win. You know? <laughs> dad has diabetes now. We went out to dinner not too long ago and dad went into diabetic shock. Uh, started sweating profusely, uh, fading in and out of consciousness. Uh, fumbling and mumbling his words, he looks at me, he says, son, so son, where's my insulin? And I'm like, dad, the dad, it's wherever you put my door all those years ago. You thought I forgot? Like, no, no. Best served cold, old man, best served cold. Yeah, so I grew up on the East Coast. I grew up with my white side of the family mostly, uh, you know, in Virginia, outside Washington, D.C. Then I moved to California, and there's way more Asians. And I was like, whoa, I need to learn more about my Asian side, try to, you know, uh, fit in with this Asian community. So I went to Japan about three years ago, and it was really cool. I learned some stuff. I figured out why they're so smart. You ever wonder that? You ever wonder why Asians are so smart? You know why? They're good listeners. No matter what you say, they're always very focused. That's why if you ever hear them in conversation, it always sounds like this. Ooh. Like they're discovering things all the time. It's nice, it makes you feel good. You're like, I'm saying some real stuff. You see that? I blew his mind. They make that sound a lot. I know it sounds like a stereotype, it's true. But I think the real reason why they make that sound is because the grammar in Japanese, it's all scrambled up compared to English. So the verb is always at the end of a sentence. So you gotta listen to everything just to know what someone's saying. Can you imagine that? Like what if I said to you guys, hey, yesterday I, at the store, many hats stole. You'd be like, oh. I didn't see that one coming, you were good. <laughs> it's like a little mystery in Japanese. Surprises at the end of every sentence. Ooh, got me again, this guy. I'm not a good looking man, no. Last time I got my hair cut, I walked into the place confidently. I made eye contact with the lady. I said, hey, make me look sexy. And, uh, and she just started drinking. It's... That's not helpful or professional. Really, you should get your act together, lady. It's the middle of the day. That's... You guys do the day drinking? You guys all look kind of sad. Yeah. You look like you guys have more problems than answers. I get it. I don't want to judge. I love the day drink. Love it. Answers questions. Yeah. How much milk do I have to put in a white Russian to call it breakfast? <laughs> uh, I've been driving all over. Hey, you guys ever notice uh, Christian rock songs kind of just sound like love songs to wizards? <laughs> I have on that, really. That's more of an observation than a joke, but you're on board. I've been driving all over, man. I've been in Ohio for the last three weeks. No, you're wrong, that's wrong, that's the wrong no. Three weeks in the hot and the gray and the sad, I'm lucky I haven't written a Counting Crows record. It's been the most depressing. Ugh. It's been a good summer, I've been driving all, I was just in North Dakota. Yeah, lot of cocaine in North Dakota. Yeah. Less now, but still. Huge, so much, just enough to have a good time in North Dakota, really. I did a line so long there was a roller coaster at the end of it. That's a lot. 
I saw a Confederate flag in North Dakota. I was like, how far you hillbillies think the South will rise again? That's, that's the whole way. I don't think they'll make it. That's my guess. You know, every TV commercial is, is kind of like a little movie, right? Yeah, so while you guys go to the movies, I am gonna go find more funny comics. We'll be right back. Enjoy your movie break. Welcome back to Laughs. Life is short. Let's laugh some more. Starting now. I'm going through a roommate breakup. Anyone have to do one of those before? Roommate breakups, they're tough. They're tough. Are you all married from Beaverton? That's fine. Um, no big deal. I'm going through a roommate breakup. It's difficult. You know, we lived together for four years. We are on a cell phone plan together. We're on a lazy boy couch payment plan together. We're invested. She left me for another guy. I totally get it. But the thing I'm gonna miss most about her is just like her ball of passive aggressiveness. <laughs> you know, the whole nine yards of it. Uh, perfect example, I was on my way to the gym, 11 in the morning, and as I'm leaving, she goes, you look cute, have fun on your date. <laughs> I was like, homegirl date? I'm wearing mesh shorts and a Blink-182 t-shirt with the sleeves cut off, okay? Screw you. Got all mad and walked away. But as I was walking away, I was like, oh my gosh, she's a genius. She's a genius, right? I'm just gonna wear sweatpants on all of my first dates, because that's just gonna make my walk of shame look like an early morning jog. <laughs> yeah, I'm 30. Some people don't think it's a milestone birthday. I made 30 a milestone birthday. I was really excited about it, because I decided at 30, I was gonna stop lying to my doctors. <laughs> oh, it feels so good, you should just tell the truth. Because at 30, like, I, I used to go to the doctor and she'd be like, oh, what are your habits? And I would lie about all of them so she would be my friend. <laughs> and at this time I was like, okay, I'm starting to get older than some of my doctors and it's weird to lie to someone younger than you so they don't scold you. <laughs> That feels bad. So I was like, I'm just gonna tell the truth. So I went to the doctor this year and she was like, hey, do you drink at all? It's my favorite one to lie about. <laughs> it used to be she'd ask if I drank at all and I'd go, water, love it. That was like my fun answer. I'd be like, can I tell you my two favorite things to do? It's drink water and walk for health. <laughs> Those are my hobbies, doc. <laughs> this time I was like, you promised you'd tell the truth, you promised. So she's like, do you drink at all? And I was like, yeah, I drink. Way too aggressive. <laughs> Way too aggressive for this, but I was just so ready to let my truth out. Like, it's like, yeah, I drink. And I thought she was just gonna slap me across the face. <laughs> but you know what she did? She just went, okay. She doesn't care. <laughs> she went, okay, I'm gonna write you down as a social drinker. And I grabbed her wrist and I was like, no. What's one more than that? What's the next level up? What if I drink for business and pleasure? What's that? And so she's like, okay, I'll put you down as an active drinker. That's, which I like. Yeah, it makes me feel like an athlete. Like I've never. I've never had a doctor call me active before. <laughs> it was amazing. I feel great. So we're gonna take a quick break, but laughs will be right back with more funny comics. Welcome back to Laughs. During the break, I missed a call from my ex. What do you want, Matt? I'm working, okay? I'm busy. I got a job following my dreams, so. <sighs> You're such a tool. Anyway, let's get back to laughs. And uh, if you're Matt watching this right now, text me, my phone's on silent. I'm trying to date a little bit right now. I'm trying to do a little bit of dating. Well, I was dating this girl one time. Every time she would scream at me, she sounded like a race car engine. Like one time I didn't take out the trash. She was like, you didn't take out the trash? So I was like, ah, I forgot. She was like, mm -hmm. I was like, yo, I, I gotta stop dating white women. Y'all getting out of control out here. This is 
looks ridiculous. <laughs> And I, I'm, I'm, be, I'm be real. I'm a, I'm a little, I'm a little intim. I'm a little afraid to date white women. I am a little afraid to date white women. It's not because you're white. It's not. <laughs> it's not because you're white. It's, 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 it's because of, it's because of me. It's the, it's the, it's the theory that's upon black men, right? The theory is once you go black, you never go back. Look at some of the white women. Yeah, you don't go back. <laughs> you don't go back. That's the theory, right? Like my thing is that's a lot of pressure right there. That's a lot of pressure. <laughs> Like, like, what if I send one back? Like, what if I send one back? <laughs> like, what if I'm the one to mess it up for all of us now? The theory doesn't even uphold no more. <laughs> like, I'm like, yo, uh, so uh, how was last night? And she's like, I'm going back. Like, I just messed it up <laughs> for all the black dudes. The worst thing ever had happened to me in a relationship, I had a girl Fake cancer to break up with me. Worst thing ever happened to me. Fake cancer, Who, where is that in the breakup handbook? Well, that's what we doing out here, ladies in the streets, faking cancer? This is when I knew she faked it, when I asked her what kind of cancer she had, right? I was like, I was like, what kind, of, what kind of cancer do you have? No joke, this is what she said, no joke. She said, I have eye cancer. <laughs> so I can't see you no more. I was like, wait, whoa, hold on. <laughs> This episode is turning out really well, and you can watch it again at LaughsTVShow.com, where you can watch full episodes, clips, and get to know our comics a little better. It is the best website on the internet. Next to IsItChristmas.com. I'm from Oregon. We have legalized weed. Are you guys smoking weed? Yeah. Big surprise. I get paid to tell jokes at pot dispensaries. They're calling them pot hospitals, you guys. Have you seen these? They have green crosses, they're calling them hospitals. Guess what, they're not hospitals. You know what happens at real hospitals? People drop off dead bodies at real hospitals. Nobody has ever gotten high in a basement and been like Jason passed out. <laughs> we gotta take him to the pot hospital. That has never, ever happened. My friends are like, it must be awesome telling jokes to people smoking weed. No, cause drunk people wanna laugh. Stoners have questions. <sighs> I had a guy raise his hand during my set one night. Sir, that's not how this works. He said, I have a great question. What's your question, sir? Will you repeat that last punchline? Ah, it's not how it works, but I did it. And the whole room erupts with laughter. And all I can think is all these people are like, Man, she talks fast. They had no, <laughs> no idea what I was talking about. OMG, I can't even. These comics though, right? Anyway, I'll BRB with my favorite clip of the week or whatever. I'm trying to be relevant. I don't know if it's working. If you're just joining us, congratulations. You skipped to the best part. It's the last laugh. Hey, Nathan, when the revolution happens, what's gonna be your weapon of choice? I'm glad you asked. <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious, right? Bow and arrows. <laughs> They're amazing. They're so awesome. We're having all these debates about guns like we don't know about bow and arrows. It's crazy. I found out you can't even kill a bear with a nine millimeter but you can kill it with a bow and arrow? Those are the gangsters weapons I've ever heard of in my entire life. I don't understand why more gang members don't have bow and arrows. I'm telling you, man, if I had my own gang, nothing but bow and arrows. My favorite thing is how silent they are, you know? Like they're perfect for drive-bys. Cause like with a gun, it's too loud, right? Bap, bap, everybody knows someone's getting shot. Chaos ensues, the wrong person might get hurt. But with a bow and arrow, it's just <laughs> <laughs> That's it. Yeah. Then the game's done, that's, <laughs> people start hitting the ground, that's awesome, are you serious? Could you imagine some gang members on the corner like, yeah, we about to ride, cuz, <laughs> what the hell was that, cuz? <laughs> nah, some just flew by my face, cuz? Did you get that? that was, 
That was him looking for his friend, but his friend's dead. <laughs> All right, that's the show. I'd say that was a win, and you needed a win. Good for you. I'm Taylor Tomlinson. Insert catchphrase here. Bye-bye. Hey, Baldrick. Do we really think someone's gonna be named Baldrick? On the internet? Whatever. Hey, Baldrick, you should subscribe. We'll just cut all these up and maybe some of the names will match. Cool? Oh yeah, subscribe, Baldrick. Do it. What else are you doing? Collecting stones? <laughs>